up guys, NG23 here, back from the video, and I get sent a couple of products every year to review, and Carlock is actually one that I really like and that I would actually think about picking up myself, so let's just get right into it. So the Carlock is pretty much a car tracker, and it tracks how you're driving, where your car is, um, your speed, and all that stuff, and we'll get into that in a minute. But basically, it's a little black box that you'll plug into your OBD port, which in the car that I drive, um, that I share with my brother, which is a Toyota Camry, it is under the dashboard, and you can check out actually where that is in your car in the description down below on CarLock's site to make sure that it's compatible with your car. And yeah, so it's pretty discreet, and it's so small, and it doesn't really get in your way, as you can see here. And as far as setting it up, it's a very simple process. You just plug it in, you get the app on your phone, set up an account, and then connect it, and you're pretty much set and ready to go. So with the car lock, what, what does it give you? Pretty much it takes your car's computer and it sends all that data to your phone through their app so it can tell you how fast you're driving, how harsh you're accelerating, how harsh you're cornering, how harsh you're braking. It'll basically give you a driving score per month based on how you're driving so that you can improve to improve the life of your car and to make sure you know where your car is as well because it has GPS. Now, this uh, basically works through having its own SIM card, which you do have to pay for. It's, I think, about 9 or $10 a month to pay for it. But I think it's personally worth it because if you're buying a car, which is thousands of dollars, you just have to buy the device, which is $50 itself, I think, on Amazon right now. And then you have to pay $120 a year for the subscription. But if you're putting it in something that's worth $1,000 and you're able to tell where your car is at all times, and the life of your car, then I think that's worth it. And then I guess the other thing is that if maybe if you have a teenager in the house, which my parents pointed out since I'm 16, uh, you can tell where your son or daughter is because, you know, safety reasons, and wanna make sure they're actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. You can also tell how they're driving. So I actually caught my dad and my brother both speeding in, that, in the car that we have the car lock in. And yeah, it was pretty funny when they got home and I was just like, well, were you speeding today? Because you can actually, through their app, set up where you uh, you get notifications. So as far as the app goes, there is a the lock button, which will pretty much make it so that if your car is moved in any way from that position, then the car, car lock will send you a notification pretty much immediately and tell you exactly what's going on and will track your car in live time to where it is going, which is pretty awesome. But other functionalities is the log, which will also tell you where your car is how long your trip has been, how long you were driving, and then it'll also tell you what you did during that trip, like harsh braking, harsh cornering, and then it'll also show you your driving score out of 100, and mine when the car lock was working, which I'll talk about that in a minute, um, was like a 98, so I'd say I'm a pretty good driver, but um, besides that, there's not much to it. I mean, it's just a very simple device that gives you more information on your car than you normally would. Now, as far as the fact that it is now broken, that is thanks to my older brother because somehow he ended up hitting it with his knee a couple times and just breaking it open, which I'm not even sure how because as you can see right here from the positioning, it is pretty much impossible to hit with in normal driving. I don't know what he was doing. It's, don't ask me. But yeah, it's broken, so I'll probably get a new one soon because I really enjoyed it, as I said. So I guess that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Um, if you're interested, check out the description down below to get access to it. And thank you to Carlock if you're watching this for sending it out to me because I really enjoyed the experience. Also, sorry for the late video. I got it in March and I was supposed to do the video in April and it's now July. Shows you how bad I am at, lately at YouTube. Uh, again, sorry for that, for subscribers and for companies looking to send me stuff. But that's all for this video, guys. I will see you hopefully next week. I'm hoping to get a couple more videos pushed out before school starts again. But I will see you guys next time.